And after that Thanksgiving dinner is all paid for, someone still needs to prepare it. And then somebody needs to consume it. <laughs> to eat it, I volunteer. As the primary connoisseur <laughs> of consumption. Uh, sometimes it's uh, a whole group of someones that are involved in that process. And a reminder from firefighters that you do not want to fire in your oven no. because there is a risk of cooking fires. The National Fire Protection Association says Thanksgiving Day is basically number one for cooking fires, three times as many on a normal day. Area firefighters provided some tips on trying to keep your holidays safe. And here's Fox 11's Chad Doran. It could be considered the most dangerous part of Thanksgiving dinner, cooking the turkey. You've got uh, a lot of things going on. You've got high heat, you've got a lot of oil, and uh, a lot of inexperience. But the danger goes beyond the deep fryer. The U.S. Fire Administration says roughly 2,000 fires happen every Thanksgiving day. More than 90% of them start right here in the kitchen. The message? Awareness, uh, knowing what you're cooking, who you're cooking with, keeping kids out of the the kitchen. Fire prevention experts recommend staying in the kitchen when cooking, regularly checking food left in the oven or on the stovetop, and keeping flammable items away from open flames. It's why the Appleton Fire Department has a Keep the Wreath Green program each year during the holidays. Each fire in the city means a green light gets replaced with a red one, something that happened only one time last year. The holiday season tends to raise, you know, the chance of fires, and by Keep, you know, the keeping the wreath green program hopefully just make them more aware to keep you know better eye on things and the big thing is like in kitchens um, you know don't leave things unattended making sure this Thanksgiving celebration is a safe one in Appleton Chad Doran Fox 11 News the US fire administration says on average Thanksgiving Day fires cause five deaths 25 injuries and more than 21 million dollars in property losses across the country